without further ado, please help me welcome Mr. Wade Bowen. Let's have some fun. Y'all ready? Tags and a rag top down. Turning heads in the neighborhood. Half down on half Hollywood. What? Looking good. She had too much rent and rolled up cash. And a blue chick on that she called me.
Pulling the strings on this old guitar I found a few answers I've still got questions Kept it together Ask yourself, wonder when the last time these guys played to a crowd this small. It has not been very long, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> not long ago. What, that two weeks ago? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We, uh, we're glad y'all are here. I know these uh, are unexpected. You have no clue who the heck's showing up. I think my family didn't have a clue until last night at all, so... Thank my family for being here. Um, Cameron has always been very, very kind to us and so many people. We're so glad to always help him in any way possible because, uh, well, first of all, we respect what he does as a hat maker. I mean, right? He's a fantastic hat maker. And that's first and foremost because we, uh, we would not be supporting a guy who made a shitty hat. Let's face it, right? Uh, he makes a fantastic hat, so that helps make it a lot easier on us. But... On top of that, he's a fantastic guy, and he's always been so great, so good to me as a friend and to us as a band and to so many of our friends that I said, hey, call Cameron and uh, let him make you a hat. And he's been so gracious so many times. And uh, thank you, Cameron, for the invite to the night. Thanks for all you do for our foundation. 
And this was all his idea. He called me up and said, I, I really want to do this, but he added one little thing extra. I don't want you to just bring your band. I would like for you to bring a, a guest of my choice, of his choice, uh, to go along with the night because you guys are, uh, we, the special guest that we've added tonight is one of my best friends in the world and super, super talented woman. And uh, we're so glad to have her. I know y'all are going to be glad to have her. Y'all please, the other surprise guest tonight, Ms. Jamie Lynn Wilson. Everybody. So we're going we're gonna to do a glorified uh, song swap here tonight and uh, see what the heck happens. I want to thank this band for learning these songs, including mine. <laughs> and uh, this is a song that's kind of started it, uh, I guess, for us singing and hanging together more than, more than uh, anything, any other song we have. It was a song we wrote together, and Jamie put it on a record of hers a few years back and asked me to sing and be a part of it. So we figured this would be a great way to start off tonight. Thanks for being here, y'all. Drink up and enjoy, all right?
Thank you. I think that's the best we've ever done it, W. She has to remind me of the words every single time. Every time he's like, I got it. What's the word? <laughs> How does my verse start? Uh, y'all are so far away. Can y'all see us? Come dance. There's a dance floor. He's like, the, cam the camera's like, camera guys are like, heck no, don't do that. All right, um, so we, I've been writing a lot the last few months. Uh, I don't know where it came from. Uh, pushing myself, maybe getting back on the road, maybe getting back behind a microphone. Uh, feels good again. And so uh, I just feel good about everything. It feels, feels good to be out and about. It's so much better than the virtual world, right? And so I guess for a lot of reasons, including that, probably most of that I've been writing a lot. And uh, so we have some new music coming out that we're real proud about, uh, proud of, and comes out November 19th is uh, some, some brand new music, but this is our first single here. It comes out uh, October 22nd, so here in the next week or so. Really proud of this one. It's called uh, When Love Comes Around. Hope you like it. Somebody smile out there. Always bringing the best out of me Every song I sing Just singing every other song, he's like, and I'm off. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna sing some country music now. Mm -hmm. 
dim the lights throw a party count your friends until they're all gone find the one who just wants somebody so you don't part of this whole show is that now your band knows my songs and I have that always. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. What are y'all doing at Steamboat? Just throwing that out there. Steamboat well, I know we'll all be there. <laughs> uh, this song here is... Um, I'm trying to think of stories to tell y'all since it's so quiet. But I'm real shitty at stories, so... Um, I will say that, that this song was... Uh, I wrote this... A long, long time ago with uh, guys named Lee Thomas Miller and Chris Stapleton. You might have heard of one of them. And uh, we knew when we finished writing the song, every now and then you finish the song and you just feel like, okay, that might actually get cut. Like, that's okay, that's a cool sounding song, right? A little bit different from the others. And uh, we actually pitched this to uh, George Strait, who took it out on his yacht for about four months and didn't give us an answer whether he's going to cut it, and then finally came back and said no. Aww. Right. But I do have the sheet that says he was looking at it, so that's all that matters. <laughs> and then uh, Alan Jackson took this in the studio, and he said no. And then Joe Nichols did, and he actually cut it, 
was supposed to make the record, and, it, and it, he said at the end, no. But the reason I bring all that up is because it actually was perfect timing, how crazy, weird things always seem to work out. Because right at about that time, when I had almost kind of lost touch with the song, R Randy Rogers and I got together to do this album called Hold My Beer, Volume 1. And I'm digging through my songs, trying to figure out what might actually fit this record. Because we, we knew we wanted a beer drinking, honky tonk, dance hall, beer drinking, beer drinking, kind of a record that defined country music in the way that we always listen to it. Merle Haggard, George Jones, Johnny Paycheck, that kind of stuff. And so uh, digging through the songs that I've been writing at the time and digging through old songs, I, I, re I revisited this one and played it for Randy and he said, absolutely, we gotta cut that. So here's some, as in the words of Jamie Lynn Wilson, here's some country music for you. <laughs> Chris Stapleton to cut it, right? A man can dream. <laughs> so uh, my husband and I live with our, with our four children down in South Texas, uh, just a little west of San Antonio, and we've been married for, for 17 years. We, in December, yeah. 
We got married when I was like 16. If you're trying to do math, it's cool there. Uh, you've been married 17 years too, huh? Fifth, you got married when you were 15. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Is that legal in Waco? Anything's legal in Waco. Sorry, Mom. I've heard about that. My mom's here. I can't make that joke. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> so whenever we got married, we moved down to this tiny little town where, um, where my husband grew up. And we were trying to figure out where we were going to live. And, uh, and he was like, well, I just bought this house down in Yancey. And, um, and I was like, well, what's it like? And he did the, well, you probably need to look at it. So... Uh, <laughs> Just to let you know what this house was, it was a house, which was probably like 60 or 70 years old, and then um, another house next to it, which is just like a tiny little one-room thing, and then uh, two barns full of other people's stuff, and an acre and a half, and he bought it for $12,000, and that's what I moved into when I got married. And so, yeah, and uh, I don't like to say that we were poor when we got married, but like we lived within our means and that means were very small. So we did the thing where, uh, you know, you can go to Lowe's and get paint that other people turned back in because it like didn't match their throw pillows. And so they're $5 a can or they were in 2004. And, and I would go, how many cans do we need to paint the living room? And he's like, three. Okay, I need three cans. And then they're like, well, there's not any three that are the same color. And I said, I didn't say they had to be the same color. <laughs> I just said, I need three. So our living room was, uh, you know that color whenever you uh, uh, make guacamole? <laughs> and then like leave it out on the table and then that film is on the top of it? That's what it was still is that color and I wrote this song about remodeling that house with things that we found in my husband's aunt's barn and uh, cans of paint from Lowe's for $5 it's called Mother of Invention make something out of nothing temporary restoration an original creation a dead ringer for the real thing high white and handsome taking pennies from a jar in interesting conditions you discover who you really are who you really are
the mother of invention. Thank you. We don't live there anymore. us here today. He got to do all the accolades earlier because I wasn't on stage yet, but um, but I was telling Cameron that I'm really appreciative for him um, coming along in my life when he did because it was 
um, right whenever I decided to never fix my hair again because I had a lot of kids. It's like, uh, three kids can't fix my hair anymore. Never again will I do it. And then he was like, well, here's a hat. And then my day is done. So I really appreciate, <laughs> appreciate you more than you know. <laughs>
I feel like we're in a real live dance hall. I'm forever in debt to, uh, to my brother-in-law, my sister, and uh, the Myers for uh, giving us a couple of days out at the ranch outside of uh, Clifton there. Clifton, Texas. Went out there and I uh, was some songwriting buddies and camped out and wrote songs. Uh, really needed to get away from COVID for a while. Amen to that, right? It was nice to get away, be in the middle of nowhere, and not think about anything but just writing good songs. And uh, we wrote like five songs in two days or something crazy like that. So uh, this is one of them. One of, every now and then you write a song that you feel like there's a really, really good chance that you might sing it forever. And uh, I really feel that about this one. Well, I guess we'll let y'all will be the ones to decide. Like when this when this song comes out, be like, man, this song sucks, Wade. Like you should not sing it. I'll be really brokenhearted, but anyway, I, I love it. It's called uh, "Last Town in Texas." to come care the highway finally reaches Santa Fe I'm praying you decide you still love me for everything we had slips away if you ain't with surprise I said you still got time don't you let your heart forget You're the only one I need Before you reach the last town in Texas I hope that review shows you every memory Before you reach the last town in Texas
intended to come carry well, I hope you turn around Come back home Thank you very much We, we tried not to play all our sad songs tonight, but this is our sad song round, right? Yeah, I would say <laughs> well, this next one. Yeah, this next one. It's going to get you. Good luck. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> it's not as sad as much as it will just make you, uh, I don't know, it might make you sad. Who am I to say what your reaction is going to be, you know? Whether it was my intent or not. Uh, so this one right here is actually a true story. The, the first verse is about uh, a widow across the street. It's my husband's aunt. And then the second verse is about my father-in-law, my husband, and my seven-year-old son. And then the last verse is all my children put together. Just a little snapshot. Got her legs crossed at her ankles and her purse down by her feet. She takes a look around and wonders how this came to be. The boy that's there beside her spitting image of the man who carried all the weight, built this house with his two hands. In 40 some odd years, she never
you. We thought about playing this song and everybody had to change colors of hats with it. Let's see if we can do it. I know nothing about this woman. Everything I do is wrong. And sometimes it's hard to fathom. Just for pages on
Thank you. Yay! Now do you get the whole changing hat colors thing? Okay. I noticed that kind of went over some of y'all's heads. I thought we should just have a pointer for the sing-along so everybody know which one to go to next. <laughs> All right. Well, are y'all having fun tonight? I'm having a real good time. It don't matter that I know just how you like your morning coffee. It don't matter that I know which way you lay your head at night. It don't matter that the whole damn world is sometimes out to get me. It's just nice to spend an evening here with someone that I like. I spend so much time stuck in between. lot in New Braunfels, Texas. All right, here's another new song. It's called Phones Don't Work.
We all have days where I know uh, it's where this song came from. We all have days where we wish our phones didn't work. We all have days where we wish we could throw them in the lake or in the river. I remember one time when I was a kid, I was working with my dad at Bowen Electric, and uh, back before cell phones, he had a beeper. I'm pretty sure that beeper is still up on top of the Fuddruckers building on Valley Mills Drive. He lost his mind. There's a few of his cell phones in Lake Waco as well. So. Sometimes I wish we could just take a drive and find a place where the phones quit working for a while. Maybe Montana Hill, I don't know. South Louisiana, way off the coast. The Arizona desert, where I could stay high, find myself.
streamed songs of all time in one that was the best medley that I think I've heard in a really long time I was like what's next oh of course it is this is a song I wrote about my daughter oh watching the first cold front come in with me one time that's about to happen in the next few days when the first cold breeze comes through it happens every year in the middle of october here we are one two
In the wise words of Ray Wiley Hubbard, be careful what you write. You might have to sing it forever. This is the case with this one. This is the third song I ever wrote in my life. Thanks for always asking for it. It's a love song, my friends. It's time. 
exactly who I Thank you all very much. All right, uh, we're coming up. We're coming up to that time of the night when this is probably gonna be my last song. So I wanna tell y'all, um, thank you very much for coming and being so sweet and coming just to trust Cameron enough to not even know who's gonna be here and show up anyway. <laughs> That says something uh, for for your, you know, credit. They're like, ooh, Cameron likes it. It must be good. <laughs> I wrote this song with another uh, standard hat works. Is it alum? Is it family, a member of the standard hat works family? Uh, right behind me here, Mr. Jason Eady on the wall.
Wilson, everybody, I'm so glad to just share the stage with her. This is our uh, first and ever only time we've ever done this. We had no clue what we were getting ourselves into, so once again, thank you to this band for uh, helping us out tonight. We need to start doing song swaps like this more often, I think. All right, Waco, thank you so much. We love you guys. Always fun to come home. It's Wednesday. Let's pretend like it's another day.
much. God bless y'all. We appreciate you listening. Thank you.